Greetings, Riansu. I am Yusrael, and welcome once again to the Tribble Time Warp. It is the 22nd of April, and we may as well crack straight on with the Romulan campaign. Play. No new patches since last time. Last Tribble patch was the 19th, so... Alright, what do we have to do? Skill points first up. Bearment, we're still apparently in the tutorial as far as cryptic or reckoning this. It might be nice to have the prompt to spend the skill points a little more vigorously done. However, we've got attack pattern alpha, so let's dump some points into that. I also note that we're not getting many hints by way of things like attack patterns and I assume other profession specific stuff. Let's just dump those so we have something a little more detailed to work with. Do -do 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 -do. That can go... Actually, no. Do, 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 do. Summon Suliban Freighter. You know, I actually want to see what that looks like, but for the moment... Oh, one, two, three. three. Okay. Do, 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 do. Skill points are spent, so we'll accept those for a second. Take a quick look at what the other crew came with. So, emergency to shields one. Right, that's nice. That is cryptic going out of their way to give you a very balanced set of powers to begin with. And... Hmm, just up a little further, I think. Wham. Okay, skill set. Gear. Do we have anything worth going for here? Yes, we do. The... Manifold for one thing, the impulse drive for another, and while I dislike the idea of dumping those, we'll upgrade back to a dual beam bank. Just see how, what kind of relative performance we get. Also, switch in. Meh. Come on. There we go. Alright, that is more or less things where they need to be. So let's see what this Suliban freighter looks like. There we go. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's a bit plain. Also rather small for what is a fairly stocked up freighter. And this guy needs a background. Right, so commodities, mail, bank exchange, all the standard stuff really. Prices aren't too bad, let's just... Okay, standard issue, dump, 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 dump. Sell and sell and dump, sell, sell. Keep the hypo for the moment. I can't help but think that putting some energy credit rewards into those early missions just to get you started might be a good idea, because otherwise you're going to find yourself looking for things like hypos and such like, and left generally wondering, well, how do I make cash in the first place? Alright, hail Temer for orders. Gasco blues, presumably as opposed to Gasco reds, yellows or oranges. There's a space station in the Gasco system. Da, 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 system. Some of them been there for years. It's typo there in the briefing. T H E R E, that should be. They also have a new wave of resistance, including a new commander. Okay. And so we get a new science officer. Photonic Shockwave 3. Okay, for a green officer, they're coming with some fairly rare powers. Right, new singularity core and an upgraded deflector as well as new powers. Right, on to the Gasco system. So where is that fair hop across space, it has to be said. Do, 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 do. I miss Slipstream. Really do. I also can't help but think that, well, I'm sure it's a faithful rendition that some detailing on the back of the hull here, like impulse drives, 
would be a good idea. I'm sure they weren't on the original model, but the original model was done 50-something years ago, so... Cryptic? Any chance for a little rework to this bit of the model? Just a thought. Alright. And here we are at the Gasco system, about which I can remember absolutely nothing. Alright. Klingon versus Romulan scraps. Off oh, the clouds. Okay, so basically it's a backwater. So, with open arms, begin. What do we have? Empire started the station in the late 20th century, abandoned it later on. You'd have thought they'd have stripped it for parts. <laughs> yes, isn't me or is Toven getting a little cynical? Easy. It won't be anything of the kind, and we all know it. Right. Drop to full impulse for a sec. Just squirt on the drive, save some time. They've opened a channel, excellent. Ah, oh, W Blood Wing cleared for docking. Well, that was suspiciously easy, and who's Romy LaForge in the background there? Right. Interesting point that someone actually raised in an earlier mission, or at least an earlier video rather. For one thing, it's not giving me a red shirt, an Ulan, as a fourth member. And for nothing, note that it is showing up the space powers on this window when, let's face it, they're completely irrelevant. It would also make for a rather crowded UI by the time you're displaying eight powers for each away team member. However, onwards. Let's see how badly this can go wrong. Welcome to Gasco Station. Our commander has assigned Tobal to his sculpture while you're here. Please speak with him when you're ready to leave the transport room. Now, I thought I'd solved the flickering issue. Ah, Tobal! Alright, that's your name, not Romy LaForge. Now, why is that flicking? Uh, duh, duh, duh. options, options, options. Video, 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 video. I have the lighting quality set low. Hmm, I thought I had cracked this. So let's just crank this back up. If I'm going to have to deal with flickering textures, uh, the game may as well look good while we're doing it. Hello, Tobol! Alright, we heard about people with the old Sylvan Helix, the station commander. Actually, I'd like to talk to the colonists first. I'm happy with where they are. Du -du -du. Okay, let's ask about Riddle while we're here. Mm, no. Alright. Okay, so we need to speak to the lead scientist, the CMO, and then just random people. Okay, so they're telling us about first person shooter mode in a situation in which we are not expecting combat at all. I can't help but think that is a little bit misplaced. I also can't help but think that that's a really nice view out of the station. I imagine this interior is going to see other use. You can't fight the Tal'Shiar, that's crazy talk. Hmm, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We seem to be doing pretty well for ourselves here, though. Okay, what else do we have? A few more colonists, and colonists, and colonists. Here with the town. Yeah, basically these people don't want any trouble at all. This is going... To turn into a really nice spot. Tell us your wife's house in an instant. Yeah. Yeah, until all of a sudden they come for you and you aren't fine at all. Because the Tower Shiar won't. Uh, I have to wonder if all of this is going to be voiced. Let's tap the last couple of colonists. Yeah, so that's a little bit of repeated dialogue. Heh. And someone who severely needs to grow a spine. All right, let's go find the chief medical officer. Ah, uh, here we are. This looks promising. Hello, doctor. Well, that went about as expected. So no one here really. Uh, yes, I said. There's got more backbone. Right, that's the quickest way to the administration end. Yeah, why do I suspect a trap? Is it just my latent paranoia kicking in? 
Who am I kidding? This is going to be completely justified, isn't it? Alright. Main engineering. Nice place. A couple of reactor cores. Make that multiple reactor cores. Alright, where are we heading? Round and through the single most sensitive location in the base. I assume the administrators reckon that by the time anyone got... Hmm. Hello you, you look interesting. His name is him and he wasn't doing anything wrong. Yes, one of the guys with the Toshia. Okay. Alright, uh, looks like we're going to be taking the local troublemaker off their hands. Well, that's interesting. However... Alright, so we need to talk to the station commander and we don't have a choice because that's locked. I'm guessing the guard's down that corridor. Alright, commander... What, what's your name? Talk to station commander. Ah, clearly a disposable extra. Ah, Commander Adar. Counter offer. Hmm. Well, that went about as predicted. Yeah, where did my bridge officers go? Probably have talked to him. Um, oh dear. Right. Pack secure prison door. Or we could just take the secure prison door off its hinges. Well, that was easy. Nice. In the back. Okay, short and sweet. I suppose we can loot the armory while we're here. No, pity. Right, what do we have? Disable prison force fields. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. There we go. All through the... Oh, terrific. Hang on, didn't we... Wasn't that the commander? Didn't we vaporise him two rooms back? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Do, 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 do. Ah, there you are. Handy. Iron, hi. Sasha, I got here a few days ago. Mm hmm. Right. Okay. Ah, kits. Excellent. Took their time introducing this bit of the concept, didn't they? Photon Grenade Mark 1. Well, let's have it. Now, the question is, did that automatically equip? No, it did not. Do we get a updated model? No, we do not. Is this somewhat irritating? Yes, it is. However... Hi, guys! Um... Catch! Right. Rock on. I wonder how many of those colonists are going to be hostile. Um, balls. Well, it looks like we're only doing one guy. Interesting that he pulled a Federation phaser rifle in that cutscene, but he's holding a... What is it? That's, a, that's the Romulan... Possibly the Riemann plasma rifle from cutting the cord. Let's move. Yeah, we are. Catch. Do, 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 do. 
Phaser, phaser, phaser. Well, alright. Plasma, plasma, plasma. Oh, loot. And loot, loot, loot. Alright. Same again. Rinse and repeat. And then miss completely. That would have been handy. Okay, and just because I'm feeling especially vindictive. Yeah, very alert. There we go. Short and sweet. I think we've got a couple of disintegrations into the bargain. Ugh. I'm wondering how easily Cryptic's help system can accommodate class specific stuff because things like grenades really do need to be covered. Alright, main level. How much more are we going to have to kill on our way out? Probably plenty. Hi guys! Um, yeah, probably good idea to tell people about Recessory. Even better if, once we have the ability. There we go. Again. World of Warcraft, the paladin class actually had to go and resurrect somebody as part of their quest to get the resurrection ability so you had an idea of how it worked and what it did although I will admit that resurrection is fairly self-explanatory it would be interesting I think to have the doctor that we spoke to earlier here down and injured just to give an example of hey here's resuscitation here's how it works here's what you do catch there we go. Onwards and once again. I have no idea why that wasn't firing. We appear to have a smidge of a bug here. There we go. The weapon appears to have fixed it. Done. Right. All the colonists appear to have vanished. Presumably they were Tal Shiar's stooges. And... Oh. Well, I was... Hoping... We'd have the option to just borrow it first. Apparently that's not going to be the case. Plasma, plasma, plasma. There we go. Yes, I would imagine we are going to be blowing that Mogai up. Assuming we can't just jack it. Oh. You know, it's so very tempting to leave them for the Tal Shiar. Right. Cut and break away. There we go. Yeah, we're suddenly happy. Now, are you not actually going to do something useful? Yes, excellent. Some change of attitude. Alright, and we have a slightly better weapon available. Alright, mass transportation. We're going to have to switch that shield off, though. Excellent, thank you. Oh. Nuts. Well, not now. Okay, so it is beaming them out in sequence. Alright, okay, well... Looks like we're heading back to the ship. And it's already stuck in a track beam, so this could be an awkward situation to start with. One of those moments where you wish you had polarized hull. Warning, ship is under attack. 
no, no, it really won't. Come on, tear it up. There we go. And cloak. All right. So what do we got? Three individual waves of Tal Shiar. And what is that behind it? Okay, random space rock. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Like I said, the AI has real problems dealing with the plug vessels. Don't get too close to it. I remember what happened last time. Tab one, tab one. And hi there! Last shield. Got the worst of it. No matter, we're on his tail. Well, though that was mostly overkill, didn't really need to. Oh, of course, plasma fire. Alright, where's. Who's next? Where are you, you miserable little sods? There we go, a Mogai and a Tavaro. Aha, excellent. Looks like they're upping the ante a little well. Let's proceed to down it again. Same drill as before. Really, if you're going to play Romians and you don't know how to use a cloaking device for position, then um, what were you doing rolling a Romulan? Right, could wait for Alpha, but nah, who cares? Lovely. Hit the cloaking device. Now what are they throwing at us? Hey, Dederid. This is not going to be pretty at all. Um, can I get back to you on that one? Because the last time I ran into a Derodex, it did not end well at all. So at least Alpha's off cooldown. Definite difficulty spike coming in in this mission, by the way. Okay, we are out of their torpedo arc. Track. Target. Fire. Force one. I take it back. Um, there's not so much of a difficulty spike as I thought. So, a couple of nice bits of random loot. Hyven is happy, I think. Also flickering. Right. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, welcome aboard. Damn it, we forgot the loot. Oh well. Hail Terminator report. Do, 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 do. We had to expect this. The Tel Shiar actively opposing, and even Hakiv. Hmm. Alright, so pick up the loot. So we now have a full away team. Interestingly, that he is science again. And we have the search for new Romulus. We have several possible systems. Excellent. Right. This looks like it's going to be the end of the tutorial and the start of the main plot line in its proper self. So, pick a system. We can start with Galondon Core. Dear God, why Galondon Core? No one goes to Galondon Core. So what's Hyven? Okay, so he's just a slightly more traditional. He's very much control and crowd control options. 
Whereas Sartre is more of a healer setup, which means that Sartre at the moment is vastly more useful, frankly. So stack her up and also stack barrel skills up. And how much have I sunk into grenades? Not enough is the answer. There we go. The London core system where no good deed goes unpunished. Alright. Do, 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 do. Scan London core. Right. Oh, that's interesting. So they're using the systems on the sector map as a waypoint. Now the question is, is Gamma Eridon going to be somewhere sensible? Yes, it is. Excellent. Of course, this is going to lead to us finding Tau Dewa, isn't it? Which does raise an interesting little conflict with some of the background in the run-up to Season 7, because in the fiction that was being written, Starfleet was actively aiding the Romulan Republic, Tatan's mob, in finding Tau Dewa. But at this point, it's just a case of, well, we might help you if you find a new home world first. So I'd be interested to know how they plan to resolve that little paradox. Still want impulse engines on the back of the uh, main body of the ship, though. Just saying. Do, 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 do. Welcome to Gamma Eridon. Of course, we all know this isn't going to come up either. Ah, we can't get a clear reading, meaning it's a trap. Well, let's go have a look. I don't know why it's doing that zoom out thing. Right, let's go talk to them. Oh, okay, that's an interesting little bug. It You actually have to tell him to sod off before he goes hostile. There we go. Last of them, my cloak's gone as a consequence. Oh, one. Go invasive. Reinforce the shields. Just see if we can't hammer through before that. Oh, I don't know. How about killing Federation or Klingons? Maybe a nice spot of Dubbo. Um, dying horribly as your ship explodes around you. I can think of lots of things better than killing Romulans. All right. Oh, yay, Siphon Frigates. Welcome to the Norsicans. All right. Now... Oh, why did I... If I can just get this set up before we go into... There we go. This is going to be brutal. Close the range. I doubt it's a 150-year-old relic. I don't think we'll get much more. Shield. There we go. Short, sweet, and effective. All right. What's next, Iconians? You, um, hehe. <laughs> Yeah, Dewa 3. Yeah, we're heading for New Romulus. Who wants to bet it's infested with Tal Shiar? Or Klingons, or, yes, Iconians. Actually, no, Tholians are more likely, aren't they? Right. Who cares? Let's go find somewhere. Dewa 3, New Romulus. Kind of blows the plot that it's already called New Romulus, doesn't it? Going back to my old comments about setting up a copy of the Tau Dewa block 
specifically for the Romulan tutorial that doesn't have things like this given away. So you can take the flotilla out once it reaches New Romulus. You can change the name from Dewa System to New Romulus System. Little things like that, just to give the illusion of an advancing plot and an advancing world. However, Critpick have chosen to go elsewhere with this, so let's see. And I should probably actually come up to full throttle as well, just to save a bit of time. Scan the Dewa 3 system. Confirmation of a suitable planet. I can't say I'm surprised. Excellent work. You should head to Dewa 3 and set some more probes and be to investigate the surface. And keep an eye out for more Norsicans. Hmm. Was the mission here tagged somewhere to call home? Excellent. There were three. Radiation was uninhabitable. Okay. Well, let's go. And is it me or... I'm just going to swing around the sunlit side of this for a moment because... No, they are using the same map. You can see the magnetosphere coming off just round here. It's just not as obvious because normally when you warp into Tau Dewa, you come out more like here, above the Terminator. Alright. I also have to note this, it's a binary system in this map, but on the sector I believe it's a single star. A G-type, the yellow one if I remember correctly. And yes, you can see the magnetosphere activity more plainly there, so they are using the same map. Minus, well, everybody else. So let's go dump these probes. What speed are we making anyway? 84.73. Well, could do better. Let's upgrade the power core while we're here. Yes, I'm sure. And we'll upgrade the deflector as well. About the only thing left to do is going to be the, well, the aft turret, so I imagine that's going to pop up to the room at some point. Right, deploy probe. That's one. Now the question is, do we have to stay within a fixed radius to make this work? <laughs> Let's find out. And then just go full speed away. Didn't matter. Okay, want to probe gamma. I imagine you can do these in any order. Just me being somewhat um, determined. Oh, for heaven's sake! Woke, dump your impulse. Your grasp of the obvious, Toven, is truly impressive. I also have to note those, um... Blasted power siphons have kept their lock. <sighs> so much for the AI not having a clue about where to find us under cloak. Right. I think if we lead them on a merry chase... I assume this was scripted to happen regardless of the uh, order you did the probes in, so we'll dump from Impulse. Uh, what can I say? They're clearly determined. Alpha, high yield, target. Fire! Goodbye. I'm not sure which hole they're going down with, actually. Um, I don't think there are any holes in space. Who cares? Torpedo away. And stop the burning! 
quickly. Right, let's dump this last probe. I don't think we've seen the last of the Norsecans somehow. There we go. No, Tovan, it won't be. It really won't be. An away team without protective gear should be safe. There doesn't seem to be any civilizations down there. Hmm. That's either there don't seem to be any civilizations, or there doesn't seem to be any civilization. One or the other, not both. Alright, down we go. And we're taking Hyven along with us this time. I should probably take the time to actually gear him up. Oh well. Details, details. Here we are. You, however, are not so beautiful with that visual bug. So, the local wildlife, flora, minerals, and radiation. Is this where we have a strange encounter with an epo- Oh god, I'm gonna have to try playing with the lighting again. <sighs> um, right, well that's broken it in a different way. Let's move on. Uh, I hope NVIDIA put some new drivers out, because something very weird is going on with the 314.22s. Gather plant. There we go. You got, you're kidding me, I have got to do that 20 times. Oh. Several words come to mind, none of which I can use on the video intended for general YouTube consumption. Alright, let's quickly bolster him up a bit. There we go. Energy harness and that handy little Klingon knockoff we found. Alright. Onwards. At speed. Please, please, please. Let this be less than 20 nodes to mine. That's just excessive. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This could take a while. Scanning the rate. Okay, fair enough. That isn't the radiation scanner minigame, that's the tricorder waveform game. I accept that it um, means pretty much the same basic mechanics, but. Right, can we do anything about the Vivacats? Are they going to try to eat us? Why did I even bother answering that question? Or uh, asking it, rather. Yeah, I'm on fallover. Minus eight. Is this being deliberately set up as easy, or...? Right. Yes. Oh, look at them. They're cute. They're cuddly. They're about to grow teeth, and there's suddenly going to be an awful lot more of them. Oh good, 15% from that. Thank goodness. This has still got a distinct feeling of 20 bare asses about it, though. Alright, grab the water. Nice recycling of the Tau Dewa reputation missions here. Which makes sense, of course, because this is the first survey of the planet, so the latest Starfleet and Klingon teams will just be building on the work we're doing. So those of you, me answer, who wish to feel superior to them from there, and more of them from somewhere else, well, this is your chance. Oh, and then off. Hello. What are you like, I wonder? Well, at one point, where's Mummy? Okay, so that was 10%, and it just... burrowed. Right. Where are we in relation to we're not Ah, I wonder, is that the same river? Hmm. Probably not. What, you mean it's a plant, it has roots. Come on. Yeah, I'm on the for the cats. Oh no, they're not for the cats. They're Rian Sebax with an underscore, I might add. So that needs to be altered. Ok, 
Okay, the local wildlife will leg it rather than die. Very sensible of them. Let's see what's behind this cave. Obviously behind waterfalls you always get secrets, except when you don't. Alright. Is this even vaguely safe? We are another nanov, yay! These creatures are fascinating. That's either these creatures are fascinating or this creature is. I'm sorry, I'm being pedantic here, but it's still something that ought to be not in the final release version. It's therefore worthy of comment. How are we doing? 55%. Ugh. Again, I can't help but think that this could be compacted a little. However, there we go. Right, now, why is that coming up as a navigation indicator? Because it's a radiation sample. Right. I take it barbecue's not on the cards. Pissy. There we go. More Epos. Alright, we're not doing too badly. This is taking a much shorter time than I feared it would. And I suppose it's nice to have a slightly slower pace in the mission, but part of me is also thinking, well, this could have been half the length. The amount of high, high amount of lead in this room. I'm going to have to look at my physics. Oh, hello, Temma. This planet is amazing. We can't believe what we're seeing. Fairly wild, but it may be habitable. Let's be optimistic. Alright. Because we all know how this one ends, really, don't we? Okay. Onwards, onwards, onwards. Hello, Vivicats! Have a grenade! We come in peace. You'll be leaving in pieces. I'm pretty certain the survey wasn't meant to be quite so um, emphatic. Right, nothing we can do over here. Let's keep pushing. Oh, look at the cutesy little epos. I wonder if you can barbecue them. There we go, 95% scan complete. And let's just grab a glance to round that off. In the meantime, we just need one more radiation sample. Where are you? That way. Interesting that it's... It does sometimes seem to take its time to decide whether or not it's going to use the tricorder animation the first time you scout for a while, but let's follow this round. See what we get. Okay, this is where we get our introduction to the local Dewans. Well, I say local demons. I don't think there are any demons that aren't local to here. Not to mention the fact that they're all supposed to be dead. So. Let's keep going. I'm just wondering if that bridge is a reuse or if we're actually coming up on the site that will be the embassy and the colony area. In the meantime, in the face, repeatedly. Plasma, plasma, plasma. There we go. Plasma grilled vivicat. You have to wonder. Let's swing round them because we're not getting experience for these guys. They're simply flavour, I think. Hmm. 
new respawn point round here. Now that is interesting. What's round here that... Oh, I see. It's an alternate route, so you could potentially have come round like that and down. Maybe. Maybe. That... Okay, yeah. So we've got a little map bug there. We apparently have a smashed vase floating in midair. One for the world builder team to fix. Can I mark the coordinates somehow? Oh, I suppose I can give a close and zoom on the map. There we go. That's as good as I can give you, I'm afraid. Alright, let's go grab this last radiation sample. Actually, I just want to see if these vivacats were capable of what made that noise. Let's just see if these vivacats can actually do any significant damage. Hi guys! Do you want to be our friends? I... Yes, they can. Fine. Not by much, mind you. Okay, I think they've had enough. Job done. Alright, well that answers that question. I'm not sure if those guys were actually meant to be a combat challenge or not, because we certainly weren't getting skill points for them. Alright. One last bit of business to take care of. No doubt this is where we're going to get another Norsican ambush. Not that they're predictable or anything. I mean, let's face it, all you really have to do is make some reference to their mothers and they stab you through the heart. Right. And that scan game does actually need to be the radiation scan, not the generalised sense scan interface. Yes, I'm being pedantic. So, observe ancient bridge. Well, this is convenient. How far can we... Uh, let's try something really, really stupid. No, good. <laughs> Ooh, cutscene. What's that? It's a Tholian. Who wasn't there before. Right. Well, turns out it is going to be our planet and they are going to try to take it from us and somehow my crew icons have now gone from having black faces to an interesting shade of deep blue. And that cannot possibly be a good sign. Still, at least the Epos aren't legging it. Right. Hello, the oh, automatic cutscene. Hello, Tholian. Apparently, our translator covers Tholian, which is interesting, and I'm certain there are more of them now than there were a second ago. Well, oh, out of range. Pity. Well, that didn't get no attention, so... Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe,
Well, of course we should. We should also loop them dry, but that's a side point entirely. Oh, good. Medium hypo. Excellent. Examine the rock. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Hi, guys. Well, I'm guessing... <laughs> yeah, good reply. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are they? Oh, why did I even trust? Okay, this is probably going to be one of those games. Nope, that's the same group we had last time. Don't stand in the radiation. Garotta. Doesn't Garot have two T's into it? Ah, oh, terrific. Nice of you to say so, because I don't see him. Still, we've got a regenerate outfit. Let's just find a quick bit of territorial advantage. Oh, what did I even call him? Nuts! Come on, get me out of this thing! Please? Oh, there we go. Through it us, I don't intend to find out. Another little mode about the AI. Could it please have the good sense not to stand in environmental hazards? Right. Well, apparently one of them. Hang on, hang on. Saurian brandy with a being whose natural ambient temperature is 400 Celsius plus. I'm tempted to say that should have been an instant explosion, but let's see what we have here. Phaser beam from a Romulan plasma pistol should not happen. And scan or geode, what do we have? A sword inside... Ooh. So this is how we found the Saharian. Right. Hmm. So you have the background option for those of you who didn't read the um do, 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 the Bloodwing Chronicles. In fact, that doesn't quite sum it up. In fact, not only did Saharin stop making his base, he started destroying all of them. However, the Sword of the Raptor Star. If we have, it's a stunning coincidence. Alright. Oh, what a surprise. Excellent. Well, uh, the Bloodwings had another sword on it, so I suppose that's only fitting. Alright, let's go. So we're going to get to blow up some folians to round this video off. To the Derwin system. Right, so they managed to wreck a few, but we're going to have to wreck the rest. Not a problem at all. Meshweaver, target, fire. My main concern is if the heavy plasma is going to be able to get through. Of course, Tholians and fire at will, they have effective point defense. Actually, that's a good concept to hammer up. Name the fact that you can see an enemy's buffs here. And that you know what, it's not a good idea to. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, shut up. To launch things like high yield torpedoes when someone's using fire and will to deal with it. Anyhow, that was short and sweet. So let's go talk to the Deseric. A large Tholian ship heaving warp. We're ready. Yes, we are also cloaking. A recluse, is that all? Right. 
Need charge. Done. And open fire. There we go. Short sure, and sweet. Don't want to be in that radiation land right there. Let's have a just to reinforce it. Mines console and hmm. there we go. Well, he quietly took that at face value, didn't he? Right. And of course, Mivek is, I believe, our contact on the Federation and Klingon side later on. Right. Return to Sex Space. Because we're heading back to the flotilla. <laughs> Right, and we actually have to go to the flotilla. We can't do this one by remote, so I'm guessing this is where we trigger another cutscene. That discrepancy with the established background on Tau Dera does make me um, second guess this a little. Retcons are all very well, but when they're unnecessary, it leaves a bit of a taste in us. Also, what 5.56? What's the core supposed to be capable of? 5.6. Well, I suppose a 0 0.004 variance is tolerable. Irritating, but tolerable. So, the flotilla. Here we are. There we go. And we're straight back onto the Starbase analog. So let's go talk to Detan once again. Boop, boop, through here. Left here. Right there. Oh yes, side bit of detail. Someone pointed something out. The tailor. It was mentioned that you didn't have access to the Republic uniform through the basic menu, which I still think is a bit of a problem. However, if you bring up the advanced options, you should have, there we go, Romulan Republic 1 and 2. Not to mention a few other variations as well. I can't help but think it would be nice to have the presets available, but let's go with... Hmm, Republic 1 doesn't look too bad. And undershirt, Republic 1, Republic 2, yep, fine. Of course, you have access to the mercenary effect as well. Romulan Republic belts, various equipment belts, which is a nice touch. Let's go with the grenades and the ammo pouches, because hey, we come in peace. And lower, standard, reinforced, pretty stock stuff, civilian basic. Looks like a variation. Republic 1, Republic 2. And feet, again, standard boots, slightly modified for the skeleton. Basic work boots and let's go with those. Purchase. There we go. Wait for that to catch up. Wait for that to catch up. Oh, that's interesting. So it didn't do it in the preview, but it did do it in the game world. Right, another bug that needs to be fixed there then. Right, Dutan! Mr. Luther, sir. Right, speak with Dutan. You have had something true. This is how we need to be in towards the Federation and Cleons at Kitama. Can you confirm the identity of the sword? We don't know yet. Right, how does this change things with the first and clear ones? Will we need allies? Okay. Right, so let's go talk to Tema. Meaning we now hail Tema to report. 
Alright, so what's he got to say? Because that turned into a much longer mission than I thought it was going to. Good chunk of plot advancement. And... Hmm. Go with the Duranium Alloy, I think. Alright. So, there we go. Lieutenant Ability rank 3, Lieutenant rank 9. And it looks like our next mission is going to see Sella make her first appearance, but that will be a subject for another video. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been the Tribble Time Warp for the 22nd of April, and until next time, farewell.